For our final group of venomous creatures, we return to Australia, but this time we're underwater. Everything Jamie Seymour needs for this category is right on his own doorstep. Australian waters contain many species of dangerous marine stingers and biters, but sometimes it's not the venom which delivers the lethal blow. And he was present on a particularly fateful day. When Steve Irwin was, was stung with a stingray, I was on, on board and had been for a couple of days with Steve. And what appears to have happened is Steve swum over the back of the stingray. From the animal's point of view, is a big shape coming over the top of it. A big shape in the water normally means big predator. It was not the stingray's venom that actually killed Irwin. It was the puncture wound from the ray's spine. It's not unusual to see, certainly in tiger sharks and other big sharks, these holes or these gaping wounds around sort of the middle of the shark or down through the gills. Think of this as really a sharp knife. So if that's embedded through your chest and ends up, unfortunately, somewhere like your heart, it's not the venom that does the damage from humans, it's more the physical damage from these big spines. There are other marine creatures here that are lethal to human beings. This is the blue-ringed octopus. And this is Dr. Mark Norman. He's an octopus expert at Museum Victoria. These octopuses are equipped with a really good warning system and it's using brilliant blue rings to flash like police lights to say, I am really deadly and if you come too close, I'll bite you. The venom it carries consists of a highly specialised protein called a tetrodotoxin. It has evolved to paralyse prey like crabs quickly. The venom is supplied to the razor-sharp parrot-like beak from large venom glands deep inside the octopus's body, immobilising its prey. And they have an equally disastrous effect on the human body. In situations where people have died from the bites of these octopuses, They've been handling them and they've bitten with this very powerful saliva going into their bloodstream and within three minutes they're paralysed and they suffocate to death. And in one case in the 1950s, two divers had one, they threw them to each other on the beach and the more they threw the octopus, the brighter the blue rings got. And then the guy put the octopus on his shoulder and said, I'll take it up the car park and show the missus. And while he's walking up the car park, it's bitten straight into his jugular and he was dead within two minutes. Worse still on the list of Australia's most deadly venomous creatures is the harmless looking box jellyfish. Each tentacle is armed with millions of minute spring-loaded stinging capsules. They inject venom into blood vessels just beneath the skin where it travels rapidly through the bloodstream and eventually to the heart. And unfortunately, it inhabits inshore waters, the kind frequented by swimmers. Jamie Seymour has been on the wrong end of the box jelly's tentacles more than once. And I've got to tell you, I mean, it hurts. It's, it's almost a surreal pain but it reaches its peak level almost instantaneously and stays at that level for about 10 to 15, maybe 20 minutes, and then it just shuts off. To protect swimmers from the box jellyfish, special nets at the most popular beaches keep them well apart. You see these stinger nets all over the place, and they do a wonderful job. We've never had a fatality or a near fatality sting inside the nets. You swim outside the net, it's not a matter of, of, of if you get stung, it's when you get stung, and it, it's really playing with your life. But the nets, which do a good job of keeping the deadly box jellyfish out, are no barrier against another member of the jellyfish family, one of the smallest killers in the ocean. Along coastlines and reefs from Australia to Southeast Asia is the minuscule Irukandji jellyfish. We started getting jellyfish stings of some sort from inside nets. They weren't big box jellyfish stings. They were distinctly different. They were showing distinctly different symptoms. Often no larger than a pea, no normal stinger mesh can keep out the tiny Irukandji jellyfish.
As I've duck dived down, I've got stung across the top of the lip. But unlike the box jellyfish, the venom of the Irukandji lingers in the victim's tissues. It's this that gives the sting a delayed reaction. Seymour suspects that it's only when the toxins reach the body's lymph glands that the painful effects kick in. I had severe stomach cramps. Pins and needles through the lower joints of my legs like you would not believe. And we're now getting large quantities of painkillers and, and it was just hell on earth. Far less dangerous to people but fatal to fish is another bizarre marine killer, the cone shell. Whereas most venom's lethal impacts are based on just a few key proteins, that of the cone snail contains hundreds of toxic compounds. Among them are nerve-blocking chemicals that can induce instantaneous seizure and a strong sedative that prevents the prey from struggling. But like most snails, this one operates at a pretty sedate pace. It only needs to feed once a week, and its super strong venom guarantees that when it does hunt down prey, it almost always makes a kill. However, scientists have actually discovered a way to utilize this venom as a super strong painkiller. Now these animals are cone snails. I mean, they're basically little chemists. There's already been a painkiller that's been extracted from the venom, and who knows what else may be in there. Scientists are now beginning to explore the possibilities of using its natural properties to treat serious diseases of the human body. As research continues into the medicinal potential of venom, in the natural world it's still a formidable weapon. And in the ocean, the deadliest of all venomous creatures is the box jellyfish. It inhabits waters surrounding many popular beaches where stinger nets are deployed to keep bathers safe. It is not an aggressive creature and won't deliberately attack a human being, but nor is it likely to get out of the way. When fully grown, it has over 120 meters of tentacles, armed with millions of tiny stinging capsules, making it highly effective at injecting its venom. The amount delivered depends on how severe the contact with its highly armed tentacles. And it gets worse. The venom it delivers may well be the fastest acting and drop for drop one of the deadliest known against people. In severe cases, death can occur in just two minutes before any chance of medical help. <laughs> 